So what's going on guys, it's Jeremy, it's me boxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions of what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it is appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So Luis Ortiz returned to the ring last night and knocked out journeyman Daniel Marks in the second round. It was a brutal left hand that Luis Ortiz landed right on the bottom of Marks. And Daniel Marks landed face first, flat on his face. And as soon as he landed the shot, Luis Ortiz peeked his head outside of the ring ropes and looked directly at WBC heavyweight champion John A. Wilder, who was doing the commentary for the fight, who was joining the commentary team for the fight, because obviously he still got his eye on Luis Ortiz, even though Luis Ortiz um, failed the drug test for the fight that was meant to happen on November the 4th. But obviously Luis Ortiz is still ranked with the WBC. They didn't ban him from the rankings. They just fined him $25,000. And he still retains his um, high ranking with the WBC. So we could see John A. Wilder and Luis Ortiz next. Like, Luis Ortiz, he looked alright in this fight. It was what it was. It was against um, a very limited opponent. Just because he knocked out Daniel Marks in that kind of fashion doesn't mean that it's any indication that's what it'll do to John A. Wilder. Because John A. Wilder, obviously, is another level. He's the WBC heavyweight champion who is extremely athletic. A guy who can move around the ring, a guy with big long arms, and he's got a big laser light right hand that can end the fight at any time. But obviously, Luis Ortiz was trying to put Deontay Wilder on notice, basically saying, Look, I'm still here, I'm still after you, and I still want to fight you for that WBC heavyweight title. And I think Deontay Wilder will face Luis Ortiz if the fight can be made. I think he will fight him because a lot of people are saying that Deontay Wilder won't fight anyone. He's a docker. He don't want to fight anyone with any credit to the name. He just wants to fight fringe contenders and, you know what I mean, guys, who we can just blast out of there. But obviously, Luis Ortiz is a very dangerous opponent. But at 38 years old, the clock's ticking for Luis Ortiz. He needs to get a shot at the heavyweight title. Obviously, he was mandatory for the WBA heavyweight title against Anthony Joshua, but he was obviously banned by the WBA for one year. So he hasn't got that ranking anymore. So he's after that WBC title. And I think if the fight can be made for spring next year, March, February, March, I think the fight could be made. And I think it could be a very interesting fight between John A. Wilder and Luis Ortiz. I'm not sh quite sure who I'd pick to win that fight. I'm slightly leaning towards John A. Wilder just because he's been more active and he's the younger guy and obviously he's the bigger guy in terms of height and stuff like that. But Luis Ortiz, you know what I mean? Incredibly experienced. Um, got a great skill set. Not the fastest guy. But if he lands on you with that big left hand like you landed on Daniel Marks tonight, then you're going to be in trouble. Like We've seen it in the past with Luis Ortiz. He's been knocking out fringe contenders. He's been knocking out guys like Brian Jennings and Tony Thompson. You know what I mean? This is a man who has explosive power. And he can take you out any time. So I think if the fight with Deontay Wilder happened, it's just a matter of who can land first and who can land with so much authority that it puts his opponent on the canvas. So it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, Luis Ortiz, he looked okay. It was what it was. He was against the journeyman. But he had to get out this year because this was his first fight of the year. Because obviously he hadn't fought since 2016 when he fought Dave Allen last December. So it's his first fight in a year. Done the guy in two rounds and now he's after... John A. Wilder, so yeah, comment below in the comment section. It's JM, it's Speedboxing.